Nation, I'm Judith. And I'm James. Today is National Umbrella Day, but there's no need for one because today's weather will be experiencing sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 52. Now that is some great weather, James. It sure is. For lunch, there will be a chili penne, chicken salad, and cheesy bread. Yummy. Hey there, Newitz. We have another donation opportunity for you. The Human Service class is collecting gently used blue jeans for homeless teens as being run by DoSomething.org and Air Apostle. All you have to do is bring blue jeans that you can no longer wear or don't need anymore. Bring to room 150 by Friday. Thanks for all your help. Well, I have a lot of jeans. I'll be sure to stop by, right, James? Yep. Here? The Contemporary Choir will be selling Valentine's singing grams all week. This calls for Song for Your Sweetheart. It's only $3 and will be performed this Friday during 5th period or 6th period. We recently had a lockdown drill that was not successful. Some teachers and students did not follow the procedures for a lockdown. There were classroom doors that were unlocked, students in clear view from the door. Some were even sitting in their desks talking. A few teachers kept on teaching and other classrooms followed procedures, but there were movement and whispering. If the lockdown was real and there was a threat inside the building, the bad guys would be listening, listening for movement or any kind of sound. This cannot be stressed enough. Lights out, move away from the door, complete silence. We will have another lockdown very soon and whether it is a drill or a real thing, we need everyone's cooperation. Pretty sure next time they'll do better. Yeah. Attention all hard-working students who may be interested in joining water polo. If you want to learn more about the sport or how to get involved, stop by the Learning Today for the water polo meeting. Parents are encouraged to come as well. Nimitz versus Mac. On Saturday, January 31st, Nimitz bowling shut out MacArthur 15-0. to 0. Match play was, with, was the win, was the team effort. The victory was led by senior Dylan Geiger, junior C.J. Townsend, and sophomore Trevor Geiger. Dylan shot his second 200 game, and C.J. shot his third 200 game. Way to go, Nimitz. Next match is February 14th versus Winston, 9 a.m. at ITS. This is the last district, district match of the season. Students, give that special someone the gift of flowers this week for Valentine's. Carnations will be sold on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before, before school outside room 228 and during all lunches in the cafeteria for just only $1 per stem. Get your carnation early before they all go out before Friday. Seniors, signature t-shirt pre-orders and money forms are due today. If you haven't ordered your shirt yet, stop by Miss Gallimore, room 228, to place your order and pay for your shirt. Short sleeve shirts are $12, long sleeve shirts are $15, while double XL, triple XL, and 4XL are 2, 3, and 4 more, respectively. Don't miss out on having this unique shirt from your senior year. Seniors, your senior breakfast awards prom king and queen senior song and graduation line leader nomination forms are due to Mrs. Gallimore by fri this Friday, February the 13th. Drop off your form at room 222 before after school or between classes. Please be sure that you have written your name at the top of the form and have clearly and legibly filled out as much as you want. I think you meant 228. Stop by room 228. Thanks, about, thanks for that, James. No problem. <laughs> Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> Congratulations to our boys varsity soccer team. Last Friday, they continued their win streak in District 96A with a 1-0 win at Jesuit. Goal for Nimitz was scored by Justin Zavala, assisted by Kevin Garcia. Goalkeeper Diego Reyes combined with the defense to keep a clean sheet. Our junior varsity also defeated Jesuit 1-0 with a lone goal by Otsidi Hernandez. Our next game will be today at 7.30 p.m. versus Irving at ISS. Please come support us in the intra-city rivalry game. Nimitz is in first place in district and has not conceded any goals in district play. Hey James, ever been in a photo booth? Uh, yeah. Ever wish that you could take a pic with all of your friends in the outer space? Maybe, perhaps? Or yeah, that'd pic, be cool. Or a pic with your sweetie on the beach? Yeah, that would be nice. If you have, we've got an opportunity for you starting Today and counting tomorrow, this Nimitz Viking View team will be setting up Nimitz's very first photo shoot in the cafeteria during all lunches. If you want to immortalize your likeness in a photo strip, 4x6, 5x7, or even a nice large 8x10, we can do it for you. But wait, where does the outer space part come in? We're glad you asked. You get, you get to pick your locations from a selection of available backgrounds. With the Photoshop skills that we've learned in Ms. Wokolo's classes, we can easily put you and your friends into any of the provided locations. Prices start at $2 for a photo strip with three pics, and will be, we'll be sometimes this week, so be on the lookout. I'll be sure to stop by. You will too, James, right? Yes, I will. Well, Nimitz Vikings, that's it for today. We hope you have a great day. 
and please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. 